Alright guys, I am back and as you can tell I am not in my room. I am not in my car. I am in my parents room which you probably didn't know that but if you didn't watch my last video then you wouldn't know that my ceiling like a hole caved in right above my bed fell onto my bed and when it fell my ceiling fan was actually on it slung it across my room there's just a ton of stuff that fell from the ceiling of uh, ventilation and all of that stuff that fell and we're still trying to get that fixed and my room is literally a mess like I've never seen it this bad so I am not going to be filming in there for a while but for now I'm just going to make do. But today I am doing a my health slash fitness journey and the reason I am doing this is because I am kind of like a health nut ish like I go through phases where I want to be like super healthy I want to be in the gym all of this and I go through phases where all I want to do is eat junk food which you know I love. The point of this video is not to like shame people if they're not doing what I'm doing, if they're not eating healthy or if they're not doing fitness. Like it's your life, like you're free to do whatever and this is my life and um, I just want to show you my journey. So if someone is along the path that I have already went down or that I am currently on now, that I can either help or grow with you guys. So that is the point of this video. And let's get started. So my health and fitness journey started about around seventh grade. It was actually the summer before my seventh grade year. And partly why this journey started really was because I noticed I was chubby. And the reason I noticed this, which is awful in society, in today's society, girls look at magazines and see the super skinny models and that are photoshopped we see these super pretty girls on instagram on youtube everywhere we and we compare ourselves to these girls and that's exactly what i was doing i was like oh my gosh like i'm actually chubby hmm. once i like noticed this and i realized i really didn't like this I told myself I was going to try to change that. I would have been about 11 or 12 at this period and I know my body was still maturing, I was still growing, so um, keep in mind that through my journey like that did have something to do with it. And also, I want to tell you from the start, I never did anything unhealthy, I never starved myself, I never like threw up to make myself skinnier. I've never done that because honestly, I love food way too much to do either of those things. So before seventh grade year, I weighed about 145 pounds. I was not really happy with this when I noticed that I was chubby and I decided to do something about it. So that summer, I was like, oh, it's a perfect opportunity, I'm home. I started doing research, like how do I do this? Like how do I be healthy? I really had no idea. So I started searching, of course, eat your fruits, eat your vegetables, drink water. Okay, I did that. I also cut out some of the unhealthy foods that were in my life, but not all of them. Like, I can't do that. During that summer, I was enrolled in a basketball camp and a soccer camp, like the very, like, first or second week of summertime. So that's when, like, I remember starting, like, the healthy mindset. So I went to a basketball camp in the mornings until like one or two and I went to soccer camp in the evenings I remember that and I just remember going uh, when I had free time if I was like bored instead of going and getting chips or something I would like do something kind of active at least I sometimes I would like walk on the treadmill or little, jog a little bit or do a couple crunches like just a little stuff like that to burn some extra calories that was the only thing I really knew. I just knew I had to burn calories to lose calories, to lose fat, which that is true. So I kept doing that and by 2011, I lost about 20 pounds. I kept up like the healthy eating um, every now and then, you know, binge eating the bad food at like birthday parties or anything like 
I would crave something and I'd end up eating way too much. But anyway, other than like those little um, cheat meals or cheat days, I had a pretty healthy mindset. I knew what I should eat and what I shouldn't eat. And if I ate super bad one day, I'd feel kind of guilty and I would, the next day I would eat super healthy. And I also drink plenty, plenty of water, way more than I used to. So, you know, water helps you lose weight. And I also started incorporating other exercises, like ab exercises. I would go on YouTube and I would search ab exercises and do like a 10 minute ab workout. And then I started getting into like the leg workouts, arm workouts, like I'd find them and be like, oh, I'll try this. I kept that up and in about 2014, I was, I think, yeah, I was in high school by 2014 and I, um, I was in soccer, I was in show choir. That took up a lot of my time. I was very busy, but when I did have time to eat, I tried to eat healthy. Unless, like I said earlier, I did like binge eat unhealthy stuff like certain periods. But during like the weekdays, I usually tried to be like pretty health cautious. So like before my show choir practice in the evenings, I would bring a snack instead of going and getting fast food. Around this time, I did start to incorporate weights, not like super heavy weights or anything like that, but I started like using the bar and doing squats. I started doing some arm stuff and just like a ton of random stuff that I would find online and like that I would learn from other people around me. And I just started doing that and I did see improvements. So I really didn't like weightlifting. I liked cardio because I got used to it. I would go to practices and stuff. If I didn't feel like I worked hard enough that day or if I didn't feel I burned enough calories that day, then I would come home and I would like run a little bit. And around this time I did get my first Fitbit. So I was keeping track of the calories and I wanted to get so much burn in one day. And also, just keep in mind, I was eating like plenty. I was um, eating over the amount of calories I needed. Every now and then, I w if I felt myself gaining weight or if I knew I was gaining weight, then I would get the MyFitnessPal app and just track my food and count my calories like that to keep, to keep myself on track and just know what I'm eating without like mindless eating in the kitchen. For 2015, I went through a pretty rough breakup. It was like my first big breakup, and of course, like it broke me into pieces. So, of course, as a girl, I thought, well, if I'm skinnier, he'll like me. No, never think that, because that is, first of all, that's never, sh that never should be what a guy likes first thing about you or that never should be a reason a guy breaks up with you is because you gained a couple pounds like no like guys should love you for who you are and inside more than outside like they should love your beauty inside so i tried like i just started running more and not only did i was i like oh it will make me look better and make him want me blah 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 but i also was like well it'll make I do love running and instead of being in my house and like being all sad and miserable, I can be running and get my mind off things. So by running that much, I did like burn a lot. I uh, burned more calories than I was taking in. So obviously I lost some weight. I was only about 120 after around this time. I, was, I weighed about 120. And just a little side note, I know I already said this, but girls never feel like a guy will like you because you're skinny or not skinny because honestly that shouldn't matter whatsoever like that doesn't matter so 2016 i went to college and i was like terrified of gaining the freshman 15 and i was like mm -mm, i'm not doing it i am not gaining that i am eating healthy i'm keeping up my workout routine blah 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 and I did, and I didn't gain the freshman 15, and I was so proud of myself. But during my freshman year at college, I did work out almost every day. And I did mostly running and elliptical. I would like switch back and forth. And of course that did burn calories, but I wasn't burning, um, I wasn't building any muscle. So like, I was just kind of squishy, you know? 
During this time, I like stayed again around 120 and I was pretty happy with that. And then sophomore year of college rolled around and what made this year so hard was that I got into a new relationship and I was like head over heels for him, which is my current boyfriend now. And um, yeah, he still makes me super happy, but at the very beginning, like I was like, oh my gosh, like he doesn't care if I'm fat or not. I can eat whatever the heck I want. And that's still true. Like if I got fat, he would still love me, but like, um, yeah, I just got <laughs> in that mindset and I was like, Okay, whatever, I can have five slices of pizza. <laughs> okay, so that was like that was my mindset at the beginning of um, my sophomore year, okay? So then going through sophomore year, I started eating a little unhealthier and again I wasn't lifting weights and I hurt my knee in the gym. So I was trying to run and I hurt my knee and the doctor told me to only run like a mile at a time. So I started to try to do that, but then that even hurt. So I stopped running altogether and I just did elliptical. So elliptical does burn calories and I'm, I love the elliptical. I'm not bashing the elliptical, but I didn't burn as much as I did when I was running. So. Um, after this time period, my grandpa passed away and that like took a really big toll in my life and um, all of my family. So um, I stayed with my grandma a lot around this time and everyone was just bringing food. There was a ton of food at the house and you know, a ton of sweets and I didn't care if I ate bad. So that happened and then next was Thanksgiving. I, and then again, I was like, whatever. I'm eating because it's Thanksgiving. Fast forward. So now we are at almost Christmas. Okay, so I had a doctor's appointment and they weighed me. And I gained like 17 pounds. <laughs> so this really freaked me out. I never gained this much weight like since seventh grade before seventh grade year I've never weighed that much and when the doctor told me that I was like what the heck like how did that happen and then I kind of looked back and realized what I did so as you can tell like through that story like my metabolism isn't that good it's never been like super good and I have to watch what I eat again everybody's body's different so you might not have to do this to in order to like maintain weight you might not have to work out every day but me I kind of do almost I have to keep up with my workouts I have to watch what I eat to maintain a healthy weight so right around uh, New Year's I weighed about what was it like 137 um, and again that was the closest weight to the seventh grade weight that I've ever been and it really freaked me out. So I told like my family and my boyfriend and my friends, it's like I am getting serious, I'm going to diet and I'm going to be healthy about it, but I am losing the weight I've gained. And I did, I lost um, almost all of it so far and uh, I'm about where I used to be. I'm still on my journey though, back to that weight. Like it's been really hard for me to lose the weight, but I've worked like super hard. So again, it's my body. Um, my metabolism is different than yours. So you might have to do something different in order to lose weight if you would want to. And again, like maybe you are perfectly happy at where you are and that is perfectly fine that, that that's great that's fantastic that you're happy and the reason that I get so freaked out is just because I don't want to be in an unhealthy weight range and I just want to be happy and healthy with my body so that is my goal my goal isn't to be um, the skinniest I can be my goal isn't to be like the girls in the magazines I want to be me and who I am, and who I am is how I like being healthy because it makes me feel good. It makes me just feel better about like everything. Like it doesn't make me feel like crap at the end of the day. So like of course I love my um, junk food and chocolate and everything, but I also really love the days where I just like have a 
have a good, nice, healthy meal and then I feel good about it. Not only does my body, but I'm like, ooh, healthy meal, go me. So yeah, now I am at a place where I am working out both cardio and weights. I am trying to incorporate them because I've learned the importance of all of that. And uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I've read a lot online about it. And really like the reason I said earlier that I just was squishy when I lost like weight is because I didn't have any muscle. I didn't have any like definition, which I don't want to be like, you know, a big, Person. but I want to be toned and I want to be happy with my body and that's my personal view so um, I've been doing some more weights with the help of the internet telling me what to do and the help of my boyfriend and all of that but um, I've also still been doing cardio I've gotten back into running which has helped me lose the weight that I have gained that I did gain and I am um, in a happy place now and I am learning more healthy recipes, more exercises and that is something that I would love to share on my YouTube channel if that's something that um, you guys would like to see. Honestly, I just wanna have live a happy and healthy lifestyle and I would love to help you guys along the way. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you have any health or fitness tips or questions that I may or may not be able to answer but I would try my best, then just leave them in the comments below because I will try my best to do that and um, I hope you liked my little fitness journey story and again I am not like shaming anyone like everyone's beautiful and the bodies that God has given them and you just need to wear your body properly. <laughs> So if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, please do that for more videos and let me know what you want to see. Give this video a thumbs up and also if you want to follow my social medias to keep up with my health and fitness journey, then I will put it here. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye!